All right, I just wrote about this, so it may come out uh, a little fucking weird, but this is the kind of shit that I'm dealing with, right? So I just saw this meme. Uh, you can see it. <clears throat> it says a man sees 4,000 phone calls in a day after his phone number is used in Netflix, right? Now, here's the deal. I just called SFPD and Tampa PD, I think, over 150 times or 200 times over the last couple of days, uh, calling 911 and shit. Basically... In summary, for something that uh, I wouldn't even have to fucking do if this person that you're going to see right here, Keyhole, just fucking actually did some shit, um, period. Uh, this guy, he's a, uh, he's a uh, school teacher. He's transgender. Girls own tobacco. I started following him years ago. Um, if anybody's confused real quick, my Instagram, um, I started it at a time in which uh, I was a single father, had my daughter the majority of the time, uh, and basically all my friends fucking abandoned me, my family as well, and I had no idea what the fuck was going on. So I started following people on Instagram to kind of get a gauge of what seemed normal or not. Now, obviously, there's a, there's a problem with that as well in the sense of... Uh, now I'm more of aware of that um, a lot of people, you know, post fake shit on Instagram and things like that. But at the time, my mentality wasn't that. Anyway, so I've, that's the reason why I followed this guy for a while. Um, because he's a fucking school teacher. And uh, my daughter at the time, I thought she was going to be in SF public schools. So I kind of wanted to get a fucking idea how these teachers are in uh, kind of like outside of the fucking classroom. Shit like that. Later on, you find out I'm trying. You know, I find out he's transgender. Uh, I think I even. I think the whole way I even found his account in the beginning was uh, some socialist shit, some kind of socialist connection. Um, so very realistically, what ended up happening was as time went on, and I realized who the fuck are these people following me on the internet that are not fucking saying shit and are basically taking information that would be used for child trafficking and child abuse and not fucking saying or doing anything. Um, and he was one of the first people that I removed as a follower, mostly because as, his, as why it was extremely suspicious to me uh, that this person was following my account and um, somehow or another wasn't fucking saying shit about all the things going on that were fucked up uh, and seemed to be very aware of the fact that uh, he was basically in danger in a child's life. Um, and so that's what I'm fucking dealing with. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's... The reality of the situation Now for years I didn't want to say fucking shit For a couple different reasons One I wasn't sure what the fuck was going on uh, I really don't know this guy I don't want to accuse him of shit uh, Unnecessarily But the following my account back Is fucking weird as fuck You know At this point in time It just is um, Even if you look at my My more, more recent post They're more about fucking hip hop And other shit So It makes no fucking sense and it's fucking weird and it's odd. Um, and so that's just kind of fucking it, man. You know, like um, I wanted to fucking have this be a much more um, kind of like uh, organized or well thought out kind of fucking thing of what's going on with this person and me. Uh, but that's pretty much this part of my shit. This person to me at the very least right now is fucking weird as fuck. Um, and, you know. If he's not, then it's really easy to just be like, I'm not fucking weird as fuck. But uh, at this point in time, I got like 30 followers. It says I don't follow, you know, I'm not looking for fucking people to follow me online. This is someone who's actually followed me online before at a time in which um, it just is what it is. Like, if, if he had to be aware of what was going on. And if he wasn't, that's the whole reason why I removed him. And I could understand that it's like, well, fuck. If you go back to my account right now, you know, I haven't even been able to post. I have the recordings of, of the phone calls I've made and my interactions with SFPD. Um, so I, and I, I, I could understand how people are like, yo, what the fuck? You've been posting other shit. You haven't posted that. But at the same time, that, that shit is fucking emotional as fuck. It's difficult enough to even just go through, much less fucking have to go through it all over again to then post it. And um, the whole point being is If you look at this guy's account This guy has way more fucking followers than me At the very least he has 300 I got 30 There's not fucking much of a reason um, For this fucking weird secrecy And quietness And acting as if everything's such a fucking big deal um, 
So yeah, that's just kind of uh, that's that's the shit I'm fucking dealing with this morning. Um, this guy creeps me out. This is really what it comes down to. Um, it, it sucks because it's the type of person that I want to like. It's the type of person I want to support. As a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons. Like I said, in the first place, I started following his account years ago. Um, but it's fucking. It's weird and it's creepy. Um, and if it's not, then this is really simple. Just be like, yo, it's not. This is what's going on. Uh, but he is part of this group of people that uh, keep playing this fucking game of like, oh, there's nothing fucking really weird at all about me fucking paying attention to this account that there's really no reason why you should be paying attention to at the very least I'm being silent. You know what I mean? Like, you can't fucking be a fucking socialist and anti-cops and fucking growing your own tobacco and all this shit and then fucking sit there in silence as somebody else gets their rights fucking violated. Um, and that's what's fucking happening. So that's, uh, that's that.